Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to today's episode of Don't F with the Internet. I'm your host, Lewis Rossman, and today we're going to be following up in the Bamboo Labs 3D printer story whereby they created this ridiculous authentication scheme in the name of security because they were tired of you being able to have actual freedom to do what you want with your own property. And one of the interesting things here is that they were citing a particular story from a while ago where there was a person who was a security researcher who figured out that there were bugs in these old 3D printers that allowed them to be hacked remotely. And since the manufacturer didn't listen to him and he said, this is a problem that you should fix, he decided to put a message on everybody's 3D printer so that in the hopes that they would maybe contact the manufacturer and say, why the fuck are people able to hack my printer? This is what they were doing. So these security researchers, these security dudes, uh, for all I know, security researcher, white hat hacker, person who just sits at home and eats Cheetos all day, whoever the hell it is, they did a good job here. What they did is they found a critical vulnerability in a 3D printer, and they informed the manufacturer of it. Once the manufacturer completely fucking ignored them for a long time, they put this message on everybody's 3D printer that was owned by that manufacturer. And I quote, your machine has a critical vulnerability, posing a significant threat to your security. Immediate action is strongly advised to prevent potential exploitation. Feel free to disconnect your printer from the internet if you don't want to get hacked by a bad actor. This is just a harmless message. You have not been harmed in any way. And if you don't believe the fact that you have not been harmed in any way at that point, he provides you with a very cute, adorable chimera mismatch of a cute dinosaur with a caterpillar that... This is the most neurodivergent shit I've ever seen in my life, but it's fucking adorable. I love it. This is beautiful. The point is, Bamboo was citing this in their blog post regarding their justification to destroy your freedom that, look, somebody hacked a 3D printer once with a cute little caterpillar to let the users know that the manufacturer was not patching their own shitty software. So everything they did, they did in the name of security. So the internet did what they did best at this point, which is demonstrate that the emperor is wearing no clothes. All the whole bamboo, everything that they've been doing is they've been doing this in the name of security. So look at look at what winds up happening on, on my wiki. Uh, literally before I finished uploading yesterday's video, before I finished uploading it, Spectrum Internet was so slow that in the process of uploading my video, uh, this got posted. Reverse engineering Bamboo Connect. It's an electron app with security through obscurity principles, hence it is in inherently insecure. And he posted everything that he did to extract the private key. To be clear, I would link to another website to show you this, but every single website that I saw where I was linked to this has been shut down at this point in time, or somebody deleted something, or the post got deleted, edited, whatever the hell else. Either way, it's staying up on my website. There's no way in fuck I'm letting anybody get this erased on my website. You gotta sue me first, and even if you do, best of luck with that. Needless to say, if it took less than one day for somebody to come up with this, I am very confident that whatever the hell Bamboo Labs comes up with in the future is likely not going to work. Now that you understand that this is a company that's happy to do something like this, I understand, I get it. They're kind of like the Apple of 3D printers. They have a very nice user interface. You can get great results out of it, even if you don't really know much about 3D printing. I understand. I get it. Hopefully stuff like this is the incentive, the motivator, to try and get a little bit more knowledgeable and involved with it so that you could do better stuff. I can't 3D print for shit. I 3D print almost as bad as my handwriting. If I tried to 3D print something even with this, I probably couldn't do it. But if I saw that this type of stuff was happening, I would get to a point where it's like, damn, you know, it really sucks that I now have to get infinitely better at this thing in order to actually be able to create something that's of value out of it. But either you own your hardware or your hardware owns you. It's really that simple in 2025, unfortunately. Thank you very much to all the contributors of the wiki. You've really made this article infinitely better than it was before. And thank you to whoever posted this. In your honor, I will ensure that this stays up on my wiki from now until the end of time. And if you figure out how to crack the next one, wiki.rossmangroup.com. wiki.rossmangroup.com. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Don't take away people's ability to say that they own what they bought and paid for. Don't change the terms of the sale. And above all, don't fuck with the internet. It doesn't work out well for you. I look forward to watching your private keys get leaked for a long time to come. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Ah. He's so cute.